Hello Tom Zone fam, welcome back to a brand new video. Today do an end of a prediction video because obviously it's a Christmas Eve festive prediction week this week. And for three to four lines. Before we even stop the video, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video if you're if you're supporting any teams like this team, like the video. So uh, make sure to subscribe is great. Turn on the bell, right? Make sure that the bell is fair for so this video. So yeah, you had a clap me, what I had a clap me. So yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys the my predictions for like the festive predictions. Obviously I'm not gonna do my match day sixteen because they had a big game or derby, so I'm gonna miss that week out. So guys, let me remember then on let's go on with the first one now. We've got it's a North London derby, we all love this. It's Arsenal and Chelsea now. We all green there's some complaints about Arsenal fans being lose Arsenal losing quite a quite a lot of written results. Now I've did an up video on my vlogging channel if you really haven't watched that just someone said what's wrong with Arsenal, just a search on it's part of Jamie Thompson vlogs, Jamie Thompson all in it's all in one and then spice and then vlog on the other one so it should it should see my ugly bugger as a joke. And um that's what what's wrong with Arsenal, you guys can tell uh, watch it if you haven't watched it. I'll try and put a link if I can. And yeah, obviously Arsenal lost to um Everton 2 1. And Chelsea won in the local London derby against West Ham 3 0. I wanted to be happy with a draw. Well, you know, Chelsea won 3 0. And as it stands in real life, then I think Chelsea should win how the Chelsea squad all got. Because Arsenal can, like, I'm not sniggering Arsenal, they can't win some games. I'm not saying I'm like, they can't, they can't. But, yeah. I might be thinking it's going to be, I'm going to say it's going to be like a goalless nil nil draw. So it's an Arsenal draw nil nil with Chelsea. Next one is Aston Villa Crystal Palace. Now, Villa, you've won in the West Brom derby. I did watch that game. I'm like, oh, James, don't watch your own team. Well, I got your team well, if I wanted. Um, um, Palace, I forgot now. But obviously, you. The Palace you did play and I forgot to apologise for that. She's done it, it's a shit I'm joking. Yeah, but obviously you've really wanted that minute Derby. And Palace, I'm sorry, I don't know, I forgot. I've been asleep since then. So yeah, they are good two teams. And actually this is actually on TV. So if you're a Villa fan or a Palace fan, it's on the news like a, on a few new channels. So you can actually, if you're a Villa or a Palace fan, you can watch that as well. So my prediction of Villa and Crystal Palace, I'm going to say a 1-1 draw, because there might be some like bags for girls like Man United did the other weekend, I'll tell you that just now. Next one is Fulham and Southampton. Now, Fulham, you have lost probably one every single team in this Premier League as well. Same with West Brom and Wolves and Burnley and all of them. Southampton, you did alright at the time as well. Right? I think, yeah, you played Manchester City, yeah, you yeah, you played Manchester City, yeah, you played all right, and you lost one now, but, you know, it's lost, it's lost, like, you're still in top five, you're in European, still in European, if you win against Fulham, that'd be a bonus for you. So, my prediction for Fulham and Southampton, and I don't know if Southampton to win two, you know, against Fulham, because Fulham, this is Fulham, in my opinion, I mean, Fulham, how they're playing, if they lose number 20, well, 20 matches straight, or even 15, they will get back to the championship. So, yeah, that's my prediction. Next one is Leeds and Burnley. Now, I will tell you guys, Leeds played cracking for against Man United in that little rivalry. And obviously, Burnley, you beat Wolves. 1 or 2 0, maybe wrong, 2 1, something like that. And Leeds, I'm going to bring the players who you did excellently. And they lost to Man United 6 2. You played well in part of the game, so I didn't watch the game. I mean, flying forward with Leeds, you squeezed your score two goals, I know you lost 6 2, but you know, you, you lost. Burnley, you won 2 1. I thought that'd be a draw, like a 0 1, like a 1 1. Or, or Wolves to win 1 0. But, that'd be wrong. My prediction could have for Leeds and Burnley, but I'm going to say a Burnley to win 1 0, because I haven't said that in a long time. Because I was going to say, what did Burnley to draw or lose? So yeah, Burnley to win, like I said, Leeds to get to 1 0. Next one is the kind of a good game. Right? This is like Man City and Man United all played against this one. Is Liverpool versus West Bromwich Albion. Now, since the new manager started Sam Allardyce, if you're watching this, you've lost your first game. You really, you, you've, you've let two teams stopped up in the last. 10, 15 seasons maybe, I don't know. 
you've did certainly so really well. And I'm going to praise you what you have done well. I'm not saying you haven't. Yeah, someone I know he is from the UK, he's in the West, he does speak by a kind of language. Don't get, if I say someone, like, you're a good manager, yet you was England manager once and you've got some, because I don't know why, and they've got kind of South Cape now for England. So, yeah, um, for, so, so Liverpool, you did all right, you, I forgot who you bet, oh yeah, you, no, for you, you bet Crystal Palace 7 that's it. Sorry, Crystal Palace, if you're watching this, you lost 7 nil against Liverpool. Like, if you, if Liverpool keep playing like that, they will win back to back, bring many titles, if they keep playing like that. Where's the Bronx? Sam, you, you need to win. But you know, I can't wait to So, my prediction for Liverpool West Brom is I'm going to go for. I forgot my result now. I'm going to go for 1 1. Liverpool to draw 1 apiece. So, I'll be happy if West Brom draw. Next one is Leicester and Man United. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Man United just a second. Um, Leicester, you won Tottenham 2 0. So, Tottenham are two London clubs have lost Tottenham and Arsenal. Um, Tottenham needs to come, obviously Leicester, you've got Man United, you bet Man, you bet Tottenham, yeah, you bet Man United proves in 2014, 2015, you won 5-3, that's where like, Leicester was contenders and won the title on, the, on that year, so yeah, and obviously Man United, I'm going to praise you all, that's probably the best 90 minute game in my life I've seen you play, yeah, you, you've, lost, you've won two matches at home now, Leeds and West Brom. That's not if we can keep winning. And everyone says, everybody keeps saying, everybody does all rooms. Um, Man United the fans to win the top. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to wait until like match day 19 or match day 25 by then. Because anyone can still win the league. But the top, the house that stands top six can still lose every game. So, Man United, like I said, you won 6 2, best in the game in 90 minutes at the time. If you keep doing that, you'll be still in Europe. You won't win the league, but you'll probably be in, Europe, in European football. So, my prediction for Le Leicester and Man United is you're going to have another draw. One, one, another one, one draw in this match. So, yeah, next one is Manchester City and Newcastle. Uh, Man City bet with Southampton and Newcastle. More likely lost to someone else, I forgot who. Yet they lost in the cup by the time watching this. Um, yeah, and. I can't really say too much about that. So my particular for Man City and Newcastle, I'm going to go for like a, a big win, like Man United did, but obviously they conceded two. I'm going to go for Man United, Man City to win six and now against Newcastle. Because yeah, Newcastle are a good team, they've got Steve Bruce, but when they lost to the cup the other night, by the time we're watching this, it, nah. So, ne ne so, so next one is Sheffield United and Everton. Now, Sheffield United are bottom of the league, and appalling, and above West Brom, West Brom are above them. And I think Fulham are in that little bit as well, but as it stands, what I watch is all can play, all can change by them. Everton, you did well against Everton, Arsenal. I mean, you, yeah, you've been playing, um, you've been playing, you've still been playing the cup. By the time you've been watching this, you've all been doing just as someone being in the semi final, Everton or Man U. Depends who could be in the semi final. Um, so, yeah, Everton, you, you bet Arsenal, you bet Charles, you bet two Premier League big, big boys at home at Gunston Park. If you keep doing that, you will be in the top, top six. Depends how it stands. So, my prediction. For Sheffield United and Everton, I'm going to go for Everton to win 2 1 because I've seen it in real life, it's a 2 1. In real life, I'm going to go for 2 1 in on my prediction. Next one is West Ham and Brighton. Now, you have a, I just want to use for obviously the West Ham and Leeds fans watching. I forgot to, uh, when I was editing the video, I forgot to put that last gap in. So, my apologies if I'm going to say my other videos. But obviously, West Ham and Brighton. West Ham lost to Chelsea, and Brighton probably draw with Southampton, might be, I might be wrong, you can let me know in the comments down below. I don't see West Ham too, I know Dan Moore's in there, and he, he's not that good, because he wasn't good for Everton, he wasn't good for Man U, he wasn't good for another Spanish team, but he's getting, he's improving West Ham, and I'm not saying that he ain't improving, of course he's improving West, against West Ham. So, my prediction for West Ham and Brighton, I'm going for 3-0 you know, for West Ham United, you know, if you Agree with me, or you can disagree with me that now in the comments. And that's not it's another good game as well. It's Wolves versus Tottenham. I'm, I'm proud of Wolves in that midweek just gone, or or last week. They bet Chelsea 2 1, and they're losing 1 0 at the time. But you know, Wolves can still win against Tottenham. 
But that is my opinion. That is, just, that's what that is my opinion. So, Tottenham, you lost to Leicester, Wolves, you bet Chelsea. I can't keep saying that. I don't, I don't, in real life, I think Tottenham, Tottenham should win. But how Wolves are playing, and they're in the top 10, should beat them. And my prediction for Wolves and Tottenham, I'm going to throw one nil to Tottenham Hudson. So, guys, that is it for today, my prediction. I know it's early, but I don't want to just boil up and early. So, yeah, so good. If you did enjoy this, make sure you smash the like. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you're making sure that subscribe is great. I'll see you a bit pop and top to bump that back because I doubt it's fair fight as well. I hope you guys are staying sound as well. Merry Christmas, Bob. My last time I was saying, and I thought I'm going to say it June again. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Every one of you so far. Not long to go by the time you're watching this, but don't watch this. It'll be one or two days by the time you're watching this. So, yeah, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. I do not know when, but see me in the next video. Peace and goodbye.